Hello, family. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back, family. Hey, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Amber, and on this channel, we review fragrances and body care, and we spill sip a little tea from here and there. Your sis may go left, but that's okay. Just subscribe. Give me the thumbs up. Comment down below. Would love to get to know you and meet you. And hey, family. Hey, I hope you all are doing well. Hey, new family. I see y'all coming in. I hope you all are doing so well. Well, let's get into it, honey. I am loving this theme tray, okay? So I think I'm just gonna go throughout the year and get me some themes on my tray to make it a little bit fun, you know? It gets a little boring at times, but you gotta throw a little fun in there. So, you know, this month for the month of March, welcome to March, um, happy Women's Day month. We will be doing a do a tray. I feel like I don't get to experience or use my dual fragrances a lot, which I do love them. And do it is an inspiration house. They also have their own blends or hybrids. They also have their own brand or their own scents that they have put together. And I love it. I mean, they're extract the parfum, so they last long. So I love them and I love their inspired fragrances. I love their creations that they come up with. So we're gonna get into it. I know you all have seen these on my channel before. I don't go over notes <laughs> at times. But we just go over what I will be rocking and rolling with or kind of focusing in on the month of March. You all know that I cheated on my tray in February. And honey, I might cheat again. There's no rules to this thing. We just love to use our collection. And that's what we gonna do. So let's get right into it. So first off, I have Alexandra Short. And this extract the parfum I've talked about before, it has your like vanilla sugar. It's very vanilla heavy. So all my vanilla lovers, you would absolutely love this. One of my family members actually said this is like her signature scent. She loves this fragrance. And I would have to agree, this is definitely signature scent worthy. You can wear this anywhere. Again, if you like a good sugared vanilla, I think you would absolutely adore this, okay? Next up, I've talked about this a time or two or 20. We have the Village of Green, okay? And you can imagine, if you've been on my channel before, that is an inspiration fragrance of Bond Number no. 9, Greenwich Village. I do not have that fragrance, so I can't confirm or deny if it is an inspired fragrance, but what I remember from it, I, uh, yes ma'am, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. Um, Yes, <laughs> this is definitely absolutely close, if not spot on. I absolutely love this. It makes me want to get Greenwich Village, which I actually think is on sale right now for their um, for Joma Shop Spring sale that they were having. Saw on Denise Adore and some other content creators that I can't think of right now, but they were promoting that from Joma Shop but I saw that it was on sale. I was thinking about it, but I didn't take that leap. I'm really trying to get my coins together for a, another beauty. So, you know what we got. Well, I know what I have to do. I can't speak on anyone else, but a sister got to save her coins to get what she wants. Okay, and period, point blank. If you got that life, cool. I love it for you. Um, you know, we'll see you soon, but, <laughs> um, a sister got to save her coins to get the things that she wants. So anyway, went on a tangent. Next up, I have on my tray, this beauty right here. If you love a good marshmallow and vanilla, that is marshmallow vanilla. It is absolutely amazing. Okay. When I say gourmand lovers please stand up please stand up please stand up it is the best of the best if you are looking for that kind of a sticky sweet but vanilla marshmallow base uh it is everything and more love it love it love her life <laughs> So next up, we have a hybrid where they combine two different fragrance scent into one. For instance, I have on my tray um, this hybrid right here, which is, if you can see it, there we go, 
Be in Love with Pistachio Gelato, okay? This is a hybrid brand of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian Paris and Pistachio Gelato, of course, okay? And that's by the Dua brand, okay? So this is not the Yum Pistachio K Alley. Um, Dua has their own brand scent. And so that is the combination that we have. When I say it is amazing, if you want it like a nuttier type of fragrant scent or a fragrant note added on to Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, you would love it. Gourmand lovers, mm, it is so good. Like a creamy pistachio, you got some pink pepper, I mean, orange blossom, caramel musk. It is amazing. Okay, don't that even, that sounds good, right? I know. It, it's just so good. I love Dua. I just love her life. <laughs> so moving on, we have Banana Foster. And let me talk about her. So as you can imagine, the reason why I got Banana Foster was because of Ambrosia Imperial the uh, Navitus fragrance created by AI the Great um, that has like a banana uh, foster type of scent is where she was going with the inspiration of that fragrance. And so I had to get a Dua brand of banana foster to layer it. And when I say it is so good, you all want it. Trust me when I say if you don't have it, it's a great pairing for that fragrance. And that's why I love Duo fragrances because you can pair them with other fragrances. You don't have to spend a lot um, of coinage on these fragrances, but the impact you get from what you spend is second to none. I mean, there are fragrances that are costing up to a hundred and some odd dollars that don't even compare to a $60, $33 fragrance. Like, <laughs> make it make sense all right next up i have rigo jasmine okay now this is so pretty okay if you love a good white floral jasmine type of scent i think you would like it i will say out of probably mm, a lot on my tray this one is not going to be a crowd pleaser right again you have to like a jasmine note you have to like that type of scent profile because it is a heavy white floral, okay? So I would not recommend it because it's not gonna be for everyone, right? Like, why would I do that? That doesn't make sense. But if you do like a jasmine white floral fragrance and you're looking to really, definitely for the spring, kind of spice it up with a white floral heavy scent, Honey, that is your girl. You would absolutely love that, okay? So next up, we have Drowning in Caramel Cherry Delight. So when I tell you, if you're looking for like an oriental vanilla, right? Um, some black cherry, some almond. This is a tri-brit, okay? And when they have tri-brits, that means they're putting three fragrances together, okay? This is Ani by Nishane. Lyra by Zhirzhov and Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. Put all together. You don't have to spray those together. It is put together, made for you, wrapped in a bow. Thank you, Dua, for your time and consideration. <laughs> it is so good. I never thought like Ani, I don't have Ani, right? But I hear so much about Ani and the vanilla and the spiciness of it. I never thought that mixed with Lyra, which kind of gives you a more like orange sickle type of dessert mixed with uh, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. I would not think that those go together, but they go together real bad, okay? Real bad. And when I say on your body, it is a masterpiece. Now you do have to let this macerate. You have to let it sit. You have to let it sit in the corner by itself for it to give you what it needs to give. But the outcome, amazing. It's just amazing, okay? Next up, if you are an Amber lover, I've talked about her a time or two. Amberlicious. I hope you all got this when I say 
it is such a fantastic amber fragrance, especially for the winter. I definitely wanted to put it on my tray because I'm wrapping up winter fragrances. And so if you love a good amber note, a go good warm fragrance, you're going to absolutely adore that. It's amazing, okay? Next up, I have Italiano. And as you can imagine, and this is an inspiration fragrance of Italica by Zhirzhov. Amazing. When I say it's doing what it needs to do, and I don't think I'm going to get Lyrica by Zhirzhov. I might, maybe one day. But when I say it is spot on, let it sit, it's, uh, it's so good. All of the things like vanilla and butter toffee, and almond oil, it's just good, okay? It is so good, I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I love Dua, okay? If you can't tell. Um, <laughs> next up, I have talked about this beauty right here so much, and this is dark chocolate, rum, and vanilla. When I say you all, I have worn that down. I've talked about that a whole lot. If I talk about a chocolate fragrance, I have to throw that in because it is dark chocolate, white chocolate, chocolate chocolate, okay? But you got that boozy note of rum in there and you got a good old vanilla. It is perfect if you are looking for a beautiful chocolate fragrance. Uh, look no further, that is so good, okay? So next up, I have Beauteous and that is Beauteous Delight, oh my gosh. And this fragrance is an inspiration fragrance of, I think it's like Feb Delicious or whatever that fragrance is by Dior. But that is the inspiration fragrance of that. I have not gotten to wear that at all, I will say. But, I mean, well, I tried it. But, you know, I sprayed it and tried it. It was good. But I had to definitely let it sit. Um, so I am excited that I put it on my tray so I can see if it do what it need to do and the doing and done. So next I have Desire 2. I just talked about this and this is an inspiration fragrance of Cruz de Sur number two by Zhirzhov. Um, I don't have that fragrance, but if you do like a more pineapple, mango, fruity, um, kind of a woody floral, a hint of fruity. Well, not really a hint. I do get a lot of fruity in it, then you would like it. It's really good. Again, I am a fan of their inspiration fragrances because honestly, this lets me test if I'm going to want to buy the full bottle or not. Like if it gives me vibes of like, oh, I think I'm going to like it, then I go ahead and, and do it. <laughs> Next up, I have Dua 247 Elixir, okay? So Dua 247 Elixir is an inspiration fragrance of 724 by MFK. And so this is like a fresh type of um, white flower scent. I have always wanted to get that MFK scent, but I've heard so many things like it doesn't last and I don't know, I just need to wait, <laughs> you know? I don't wanna again spend like, coins on something that's just not going to last it just doesn't make sense to me um but i have enjoyed this so if you love a good fresh white floral i think you will like this because it has like white sandalwood um it's like out of highs in this so if you are into that that's great it has like egyptian jasmine musk it is a very good I think even bergamot's in this very good citrus white floral type of scent i absolutely adore it so next up, I have Dulce Vida. And um, I can't think, I think this is an inspiration fragrance. I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. But it does have a, like, a Sicilian citrus, a fruity type of fragrance. So it's like a citrus gourmand. It is very good, okay? I absolutely love it. You're going to hear that a lot because <laughs> that's why I bought it. It's really good, so if you like an orange type of fragrance, you're gonna vibe with that. Next up, I have Love Bond. This is an inspiration fragrance of Rolling in Love by Killian, okay? If you love that fragrance, you would love this. I've only got to try this one time, and I was like, mm, I gotta let it sit, because it really didn't 
do what it needed to do, right? Being very honest with you, but I am excited. I just sprayed it and I was like, okay, we're ready. So she ready. I am totally excited about that. Next up, we have Miss Congeniality, Mrs. Congeniality Rose Elixir. And this is an inspiration fragrance of Delina La Rose by Parfums de Marly. I really want this fragrance in real life. You all know if you're not new to this channel, I'm going to be in my Parfums de Marly bag this year. I really would love the entire collection, so I'm excited to experience. But I am absolutely going to wear her zow, okay? She is so pretty and so good. And definitely what I've smelt in Neiman Marcus, she is spot on. Okay, love her. Okay, if you have it, pull it out. Next up, we have Alien Essence. And let's talk about this beauty, honey. I got her. And she is an inspiration fragrance of one of the most, like, you can't get it. <laughs> It's gone. I tried. If, if it's out there, please tell me where it is. But it's Alien Essence Absolute. I have wanted that fragrance down by Moogler Honey. But when I saw that they had an inspired fragrance from it, I said, add to cart, okay? Put it in the bag, okay? I want it now. So I'm ex so excited to wear that. I mean, just because of that, it's so hard to get. It's crazy. Then we have a duo fragrance of cotton candy. So my cotton candy lovers, little sweet. You want a little spring, summer sweetness? That's going to be your best friend. And last but certainly not least of my full bottles, we have Mrs. Mobster. And this is also an inspiration fragrance. I cannot think, I want to say this is like one of the Roja parfums. I cannot think of... I think it's an enigma or something like that. I can't think of what the fragrance is, but when I saw the notes of peach neroli, when they have like orris root in there, um, I think vanilla musk is in here, sandalwood patchouli. When I saw those notes, I was like, yeah, I want to try that. Um, but I haven't gotten to try it. <laughs> and before winter runs out, I definitely want to get into that because I feel like it's going to be too heavy for a spring summer type of fragrance. But we gonna rock it and roll it with the end of the winters that we have, winter days. Um, and so I also put, I think these are so good, especially their sprays, but I have like the little travel size. So sometimes when you're like not so sure about a duo fragrance and if they have a travel option, highly would recommend it's less of your money and you can still try it and it's still a good size, travel size, right? Look at that, just such a good one. It's uber good. But anyway, so this is gone swimming in Caribbean waters. And so, you know, I love a good aquatic type of scent. So that's where I got that. Vanilla overload. I mean, come on. Of course I had to get that. I mean, vanilla overload. Like, come on. Who are you talking to? And then I have Casino. Okay. Royale Therapy Nights. And I believe this one has like, Baccarat 540, and I believe this is like a hybrid or a tribrid brand of fragrance that I was trying out. This is blueberry cookies. Give me my cookies, okay? And honey, you could tell. Look at this one. It's almost gone. Look at that. Gone. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely love that. When I empty that out, I'm definitely going to get a full bottle. And then we have Magical Ballet. And honey, I've used this. So I do like the travel size. They're really good. Well, that's it. That's it, family. What I'm going to be rocking and rolling with for the month of March. Hey, what are you going to be rocking and rolling with for the month of March? You might have a tray that you, you know, kind of filled it with your niche or your designer. Um, but for me, this time I'm doing Dua, okay? I have not been in my Dua bag as much as I need to and I need to get back into it okay do as always done my body good I'm I'm cut I'm cool with her <laughs> so make sure that you subscribe give me a thumbs up comment down below would love to get to know you and meet you and hey family hey make sure that you're good to yourself give yourself some grace and if no one has told you that you are more than enough to <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
Yeah, better let them know. Your sis just did. Bye, family. I love you so much. Enjoy your day, okay? Love you. See you next time. Bye.